right, gentlemen, uh, thank you for being with me on this call. Uh, the purpose of this call is to go over some of the newest updates that are with the Bootstrap framework. Uh, you gentlemen are currently on our classic theme and you're looking to migrate over the Bootstrap theme. So we're just going to take some time and, and show you some of the, 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 the better new features that we rolled out with this theme. What I've done is I've actually launched a brand new website. Uh, and to basically show you how easy it is to make live changes to the site itself. Uh, so we're going to, in the next 25 to 30 minutes, uh, not only be going over the different features that are available to you, but we're actually going to make the changes to this theme that we see right here. The first thing I'd like to focus on, which is one of the things that many of our customers care about most, is the ability to edit the home page. Uh, based on the feedback from, from our customers, they wanted more control over editing this specific section of their, of their website. So what we've done is we've launched something that's called design settings. The design settings is not available in our classic theme. It's exclusively on the bootstrap theme. And what this does is this gives you 150 point and click design options. So without requiring any CSS knowledge or HTML knowledge, you're able to go in there and make these changes live on your website. Uh, we even have a logo, logo design. So if you don't have a logo, you can go in there and put uh, whatever you like on there. And then that'll become your logo. And we, you can just select a, a Google Awesome font. And you have the entire library of, of Font Awesomes available to you. So you can go ahead and click any one of those icons. And basically, that's going to design that logo for you. Um, and then the actual website design itself, these are the fonts families, the font size, um, and, and so forth, the, the font colors. These have website-wide changes. So in the past, each page or each uh, different section of the website, you'd have to do these, these, these edits. And now just by easily choosing here the fonts that you'd like to have for your website, that applies throughout the website. So we're going to go ahead and, and save this for now because we went ahead and made some changes to the logo. I'm also going to show you the home page layout, which is probably the most exciting tab of the five tabs that you see here. What we did with the home page layout is it's an entire section that's dedicated just to the design of your home page. What does that mean? It means that you're able to easily change the main image, of course, on your home page. You're able to choose which type of search is on your home page. Basically, this is the themes that are available to you. So you can do a hidden top level category, keyword filtered search. You can have that your customers or your website visitors search the deals or classifieds or real estate or whatever feature content is the, the primary focus of your website. That's basically a theme. So you can easily switch what primary search module is on your website. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll select the, the filtered uh, search. You can then decide I want it vertical or horizontal. So that's the layout of how that module is. And then you're able to decide how much padding there is at the top and the bottom of that module. Um, you're also able to uh, edit the, 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 the home page divider. This is this section here that we see, the whole search, review, and connect. So to edit what words show up here and what symbols appear, again, we're using awesome fonts, you would just go ahead and change the awesome font to your liking. Um, and then, again, like we discussed earlier, there's no need to know code. You can go ahead and change uh, to find. Um, and we'll go ahead and, and make an edit here to find uh, top businesses. And we'll see that. That's going to show up. Uh, live as well and we can go ahead and change the background color if we want as well of that home page divider. Um, we then have the actual text that shows up in the search box. So the start searching here, what do you need? Even the words here where it says name or keywords, you're able, you're, you're able to edit all of that here so by changing this. So, uh, so that's an easy way to edit that specific search module. Then we have the home page section order. This is great because you're basically able to call this dynamic content. And by calling dynamic content on your home page, you're, help, you're helping the SEO of your website. One of the primary things Google wants is they want to have a website that has a pulse. So the more fresh content that's on your home page, the more often they're going to send their bots to your page and index that because they say, hey, there's new content constantly. So this is where you're able to call these streaming widgets that come with the software. What does that mean? That means that I can go ahead and put my recent members 
as a streaming as a streaming widget and all the recent members will show up on my website then I can call my most recent articles and then I can go ahead and call my most recent deals and this is how I, I control the order of my home page let's say that I have some custom customs a custom section that I would have a developer that I'd like to put on my home page what I'm able to do is I'm able to go to the the editing of the home page itself and then go ahead and just call the custom homepage contents. So it's even easy for me to have a, a completely custom homepage if I choose to go that route. And then in the in the homepage streaming widgets option, it's possible that you use the coupons feature, but you want to call it something else. It's it's not actually a coupons feature. So you would go ahead and you would call it newest um, newest courses, let's say, and then you can control how many will display at a time. Uh, and 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 have full control over all the different streaming widgets, and then of course we have the about website and join offer. These are the boxes that we see here. So when you want to go in there and you want to edit the description, you want to edit the links, you want it to go somewhere else, you can go ahead and edit that right in this section. Um, and basically, uh, that's that's how that works. So we'll go ahead and save those changes. All right, and we'll refresh the page and see what happens. All right. So basically, uh, we now have this new search module that wasn't there before. The layout's changed. Um, we were able to upload a new logo using the logo creator. Um, we're able to, we edited the divider and now it says top businesses. And we're now calling the newest members. If we click show widgets, you'll actually see that it is calling the other streaming widgets that we activated, which are articles and, and coupons. The reason you're not seeing them is because there's no content. If we were to publish an article, if we were to publish a coupon, that would display there just like you see on our demo website. So we'll go ahead and take a quick look at that demo website. So you can see what I'm, so you can see what I'm talking about. Can you move around the order of where they're currently being displayed, or is that pretty much a fixed section? No, absolutely you can. So that's what this section order is all about. So I can say, I don't want this web. I want this website join offer at the bottom. So I would like this to display my featured members. And then here at the very end, I'd like it to be my website join offer. So by doing that, you're going to switch the order. And we just did that. So now you're going to have the, the that's going to be below your featured members. And, that, and when you look at it being complete, this is what it looks like, the newest member streaming widget. Uh, this is a widget that's out of the box as well that you can have the blog stream like this with a sidebar. And then below that, we have the about and the join. So all this is, is out of the box functionality with your website. So we're gonna go ahead and hide these widgets again. We're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see that the about website is now below the newest members. We, we were able to change the, the order just like that. Awesome. So there's a lot of control there. And then, so that's just the, the actual homepage layout. We have a lot of customers that love slideshows on the homepage. So in, if you prefer to have a slideshow, so there's more interaction for the main image, you just need to say enable yes, and it'll display the slideshow. The only thing you need to do is make sure that the images have no spaces in the name, in the file name, because that'll break that specific image. And then you just, you just say if you want to enable that slide or not, you upload the image. It gives you the recommended size of an image that you should upload. You can decide the transit transition effect, the interval time, and so forth. So you have complete control over that slideshow. Uh, I'm a fan of slideshows personally. It gives a little bit more life. So we'll go ahead and we'll enable that slideshow. And then you're going to start seeing different images on the homepage when we go back to that. And something else I'd like to show you is it's great to have an opportunity to test out some different color sets. Um, so basically our software comes with uh, different color themes and these makes changes site wide. So you and your team can take the, your time and say, let's just try a couple of these different uh, layouts and see if we can find the color theme that's right for us. So we're going to go ahead and click white and green just, just for the sake of this call. So we're going to go ahead and save that. So by changing that, we're going to see how much we drastically change the feel of this entire website. And my recommendation is always to just give it a shot and, and try all the different color, color combinations out there not just the, the one that you think will look nice, because you'd be surprised at how nice some of them look. 
And there we go. So we've completely changed the feel of this website just by making those edits. And that's not just on the home page, that's your entire website. So the, the, the buttons are always going to be consistent, the fonts are going to be consistent, the backgrounds are going to be consistent. There we have our slider images that are rotating in the back just like we want it to. Uh, and again, we've done this in just a few seconds. So this is very quick to, to go and set up on your end. So you have a lot of pre-made color sets to choose from. Uh, our team worked hard at setting those up for you. So I just recommend taking your time and then when you find the right color th set for you, maybe adapting your logo a little bit to match that color set because that would be easier than do it the other way around. Try to match the entire website to your logo. Um, and, and basically that's the, the new design settings that we went ahead and created. Uh, we also uh, spent a lot of time in the new features. So I'm going to go and show you the membership features themselves. So each website comes with the following. It comes with a admin blog contributor. Why? Because if you, if you pay attention to the details here, we have two features. We have a member article feature up here, and we have a blog article feature here. The difference between the two is that the blog article feature is exclusive for your specific directory website. So this is not something where a member can add a blog to your blog. This is your official company blog. So it's separate from the member blog feature. So if you want to, you can go ahead as a website, and this is your slash blog to your URL, this particular feature, you can log in as this member, that's your official blog admin member, and add, feature, add blog articles via this. What's nice about this specific feature, and I'm going to show you one of the big uh, updates that we made, is since this is your official company blog, this settings is this it's set up so it doesn't sh show up in search results but more importantly since blogs are so important for seo we now give you the opportunity after you post the blog to ha add custom seo content for that specific blog post this is only for your official blog uh, feature that because you don't want your members having to have that headache because most of your members aren't necessarily going to know what to do with this. And if you don't fill out the custom SEO data, it's going to pull from the template. But a lot of our customers have been asking for more control over their official company blog and now they have it. Uh, you'll also see that all of our features come with categories. Uh, it's for you to organize your blog articles into categories if you want to and it's then possible to search features based on those categories. I do want to go on the demo site just to show you this uh, in a little more detail, but basically one of the biggest updates is that every one of our features is it has its complete different set of data. What does that mean? It means when a member adds a coupon, they're then asked to put in their location because I may be a business and I may have products in different places or coupons in different places. So there's now geocoded with a latitude and longitude. That means that I can search by location, which we're going to do here because this is in Jefferson, Georgia. So if we do a search for Georgia, that should appear there. Or if we do a search for New York, the other one should appear. So people can then browse your actual uh, feature content, we're talking classifieds, jobs, coupons, events, and so forth, by location. You're also able to have a category structure like we show here. And I'll show you how you edit that category structure. So maybe I'm looking for deals on restaurants. Maybe I'm looking for deals on electronics. So depending on your niche, you may want to have a specific category structure or you can just omit that specific thing. And then of course we can search by keyword if we want to. But I just want to search in this example for coupons in New York. So we're going to go ahead and click search now. And there we go. We have our coupon in New York. And that goes, that's the same for all of our different features. And it's intuitive. If I'm searching for events, it's going to give me a start date and an end date, which is what people would want for events. If I'm going to search for properties, it's going to allow me to search for sale, for rent. It's going to have a price range, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. So it's very, very robust. So each different feature in our software is essentially its own platform in a way with its own database that's completely separate from the members of your website. So there's a lot of power there. And essentially what our themes are, when you look at the different themes available to you, 
essentially the themes are just websites that are focused on a specific type of content rather than finding a member, finding a professional. It's finding deals or finding classifieds or finding products. But if you want, you can leverage any of these features and add it as an add-on or an incentive for your members to help them promote their, their items. If I'm a dentist, for example, maybe I will like the fact that I can sell my, my, my used products as a classified. So all of these providers, or if I'm a, if I'm a, a vendor and I sell to dentists, maybe you create a membership level for me uh, and you give me an opportunity to sell products. Now, here's one thing that's pretty unique about our business. I'm sorry, not about our business, about our software is that you can make content members only. What does that mean? And this is also out of the box functionality. It's very possible that you wanna have vendors promoting to your, to, to your members, because they would love, one of the, you're the holder of their dream marketing list because you have the list to all the professionals. So the vendors are saying, please let me sell to your members. And you say, all right, I will let you sell to my members. I will charge you X amount of dollars. But you can make this page members only. So all you need to do is go to the actual membership feature and, and say always show content no, and then it will require a login. Let me give you an example of what that looks like real quick, which is one of the new features of our software. So you can go ahead and just turn it into a members only website. And then just like that, when I try to, I'm going to have to log out because I'm logged in as a member. But now when I go to perform a search on your website, it's going to require me to be logged in to view that data. And you can do that per membership feature. So that's a new, that's a new functionality of this new theme as well. Any questions so far? No, so far, very impressed. All right, so I'm going to go back to the membership levels. So now we, we, we covered this new uh, admin blog contributor. So you wouldn't want to delete that. That's your official blog. You may or may not want to use it. But if you see a very important thing that's been included is you're able to so select whether or not they're searchable and whether or not they're indexed. This is important. Why? Because another one of our newest features is the ability to have favorites. This makes your website a lot more interactive than uh, the classic theme. Why? Because Pinterest uh, allows you the ability to pin something to your board. Hey, my, my wife, for example, loves recipes. So when she sees a recipe she likes, she loves that she can pin it. And then she can go back and log into her account and she can see what she's pinned. So this favorites feature is the exact same functionality as pinning and it requires you to create an account as a general user of the website. So now we have, and, we just, and you touched on that before our call, you have what we call the, 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 the basic users of your site that have the ability to favorite items. You would set them as non-searchable and non-indexable. Because if I'm a general user of your website, I don't want to be found in a search result on your website. My privacy is really important to me. So we make it really easy for you to set that up on your end. Something else that you discussed uh, that we discussed before your before we, we got on this call were the uh, were the actual different segmented marketing lists that get automatically generating with our website. And there's four primary tags that are created. You have the contact submitters. These are people that commit your web that, that submit your website contact form. You have your lead submitters. This is everybody that tries to contact your members. So if a, if a visitor of your website tries to contact a professional, you're going to have them on this marketing list that segments. So you can send them a newsletter that says, hey, thank you for uh, contacting one of our members. Here's what's new at our website. You also have the newsletter subscribers. Um, something that we, we, we jumped over was the ability, it's here in the footer, is the newsletter that's also out of the box. I'm not sure if we activated that. There it is for you. So anybody that submits their email to your newsletter, that automatically gets added to this specific segmented list that you can then send an email campaign to. And then, of course, all of the consumers that leave reviews for your members are here. For email campaign purposes, you're also able to send a campaign to your specific membership tier. So if I have free members, I can send an email campaign 
that is specific to getting them to upgrade to a paying level. If I have paying members, I may have a newsletter that's thanking them for their business and letting them know what's new. And the way that you send an email campaign is just by going ahead and clicking on email campaigns, clicking new email campaign, and then you check the box to the list that you would like to send the email to. And it's just a matter of checking the box and then you have a segmented email campaign that gets sent out from our platform. Something else that's new about this theme that I think is one of the best tools is this help icon that you see at the bottom. Why? Because it relates on each section of the admin that you're in. So a lot of times people are like, what do I do here? How does this work? I'm going to submit a ticket or I'm going to ask for help. Now you can just click that icon and you can read and watch videos specifically made for that section of the admin. So it's the equivalent of booking a training call for the section on email campaigns, except you have it on demand. And you have all the links to the, to the actual solution center that you want. And we've also linked in our solution center so that you can actually start searching our, our solution center itself through this section. And then we also, in the dashboard, have that, that, that possibility. So, so that, I know in the past, was a bit of a hurdle, was to find the right resources for the right sections of our, of our website. But now that's no longer an issue because each page of the admin has its very own section with the videos and the articles to help our, our customers, such as, as yourself, find the information that they need. Any questions? Well, that's a game changer. That's a game changer. Yes, yes. If you're from our classic theme, I could understand uh, the, the frustration and trying to find that, that, that content. Mm -hmm. Something else that we have, there's a few more things that we have. Um, we're working hard at this. So these are, these are pretty big updates as well. So I'm going to go to our channel. And I'll send this link to you. But we're now working on video playlists. We were on Vimeo, but now we're moving towards playlists. So um, you'll see that we did a, a webinar on Friday. That's eight ways to easily maximize uh, membership signups. That's a 13 video series, for example. And at the end, you'll see an hour and six minute Q&A with our customers from all around the world. Uh, we had a lot of people attend, and it was really exciting to, to hear all those questions. But that's a free resource that's available to everybody. Um, we also have uh, the Developers Corner, which is a game changer as well, uh, which basically has all of the a detailed development documentation for people that are more tech savvy. So people really want to customize or build an API and use the Brilliant Directories API, or they want to create a completely custom feature from scratch. And then there's even the different levels that people can, can do to get certified. And that's how our marketplace developers get certified. They have to complete all the levels. But we give our customers the same resources as our, as our, as our developers do to get certified because a lot of our customers want to become expert with their own platform. So everything that our, our developers get in terms of resources, our customers get as well for the developers quarter. So that's an entire re resource center just for that. And then, of course, we have the Bootstrap Resource Center that is tailor-made to the Bootstrap theme. In the Bootstrap Resource Center, uh, we always have uh, the newest releases, so it's easy to stay on top of what's been released and what hasn't. We also have our, uh, our, our community forum that has a change log. That's a new section as well that people have been asking for. Um, we have basically there it is. So we'll always uh, go. In, we'll go in there and we'll report all the new updates to the software. We're very transparent. Um, so here's our change log for March, for example. So a consumer, a, a customer such as yourself, can go in there and see everything that we're working on at the company and really stay on top of that. You can subscribe to that particular channel, and every time a new change log is posted, you're able to see what what's going on on our end. We're very very active. And then we, we have the marketing guide and the blog as well. So we're really focusing on providing free resources that allow our customers um, to, to launch quickly and to not have to pay for, for these resources or get, the, or, or get those, those expert tips. So we're trying to make that information free to all. So is there anything in particular that I haven't covered that was on your initial list of, of questions that I could potentially uh, help uh, answer? 
No, I, I think you did a good job from my perspective. I think uh, Jonathan may have a question. Yeah, so um, for the site, do we have, I think we covered it, do we have like just pre-made templates for the site that would change the site, like all of the layout and everything, or is it just templates just for the colors? You do, you do have more or less the colors have a big impact on the theme, but here are the, okay. different, here are the different themes available to you. And you'll see there okay. are there are different. So you can request any one of these themes to be installed because you have a full license with us. That means you have access to all the features. So you can ask for any one of these themes. So you can say, hey, hey, Pat, I really like this events theme right here. Uh, can you go ahead and install that theme for me? And we can go ahead and install that theme, and it'll look just like it does here. It'll be that exact theme. So there there have been some. There are some differences between the, the different themes. Okay, okay. And then um, other question I have uh, about SEO advantages. I know you mentioned that having a, basically a, a, a front page, a home page that essentially live really helps with SEO. Mm -hmm. is, that, is there, are there any other benefits um, All right. SEO wise? All right, absolutely. I'm excited you asked that question. So let me show you that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the members only <laughs> feature that I enabled so that we are not locked out of the site. All right, beautiful. So now let's go back and go to the search result page. So um, the, the, what, in the past, it was it was tricky to identify which, there's a couple things that we tackled that weren't tackled before. Uh, one is uh, the show widgets will now show you when there's a variable. So this here, this home search dropdown one, what do you need is a variable. People would ask, hey, Patrick, how do, what is this local businesses? How do I edit local businesses? Because in the widget itself, it's calling a variable, has some PHP code. It's a little complex. So now when you want to edit local businesses, you just need to click here on the variable itself, and it's going to take you to where you need to go for that specific variable. So here it's the profession name. I need to log in for that. But that's the profession name, which is right here, the profession name. So when we edit that, it'll edit it on there. So I could say um, local dentist as an example. We'll save it. And when we hide this, you'll see that it should display find local dentist there. So it solves that mystery. It shows you which variable is actually being called there because we use variables throughout the website. That was a huge headache in the past. You're also able to quickly find those variables under the text labels. Basically, the, another word for variables are text labels. And here's the list of all of the text labels. So in, if I don't want to call it a business and I want to call it uh, a, a student, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and replace all of the businesses with student and then all throughout the website, wherever it used to say business, will now say student. And I can go ahead and edit all the text labels throughout the website. And that, you'll see how many there are. But rather than going through this page, what's easier for, for, for people is when they're on the actual page on their website, that they're able to see what it is from here. So they go and edit that text label directly through the advanced settings. Okay. Um, something else that's new, and I think it's better that I show you here now that we're here, is that you can, you can by default decide which layout you prefer. This is called their grid view layout. This is called our list layout. You can choose both. Something else that's possible for your member searches and only your member searches currently is that you're also, you have one more layout that's available to you and it's optional whether or not you want to use it. Um, the, the, the con, the, the negative is that it's, it's a little slower to load, but the pro is that it's very interactive and that's to have an actual map of all, where all your members are on that specific search result. So if we go New York, obviously I did for all, the whole world, but if we do New York, uh, New York, the map is going to be a little more zoomed in than the entire map of the United States. And it's easy to set it up. It's just a setting that you tell the software which of these views you'd like to have for search results for your members. And if you prefer to have it be a map view like this, you can. And then when they just click on it, they can go and check out that specific member that's in New York and go straight to their page. So you have some, some flexibility there as well. Okay. All right. And then, okay. and then for the SEO, and we haven't even gotten to that. I know I haven't answered your question. So here's the beauty. So this icon here, this tells you which SEO template is generating this specific page. 
because this is what you call a dynamic page, mm -hmm. right? So you need to click on this and it'll show you the page, the actual template that it's using. Here is the actual template. So if you want to edit the SEO metadata of that specific type of dynamic page, you can do so right here. You can even edit the social media sharing SEO as well. Um, in all, we have a total amount of, let's find out. <laughs> Currently, we have 47 custom SEO settings. These are all the different templates that we have. But it's very clear now. We've spent a lot of time to make it easier to understand what each template is for. So this is the template for the write of review page. This is the template for the review review page and so forth. So it's very easy for you to understand what template is for what. So you can go in there and you can edit that. Out of the box, it'll pull up all your primary keywords that you set up throughout your website. It's done automatically for you. But you can, as your, as your, as your business grows, you can fine tune these templates to your, to your liking. Okay, great. And this is specifically for dynamic pages. Of course, your your static pages, right? Traditionally, just like all static pages, you can go ahead and you can edit the SEO information of all of your static pages. So here we're on the home page, for example, and you go and edit the SEO details of your home page as you, as you wish. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So basically, those are those are some of the bigger updates that have been released with, with our new theme. And uh, yeah, did you have any any final questions? One was um, you guys did a lot of great work to it. One of the questions would be: Do you see anything, I guess, in the future that you guys are working on now that you can maybe share that maybe coming in the pipe? Oh yeah, there's a there's a few different things that are that we're developing. Um, one of the the new releases that are going to come out next week is you're going to have the ability to uh, select a specific form for a specific um, membership type. So for example, you can have a contact form for your businesses and a contact form for your vendors, and they can have different fields in it. So you can say for this membership level, which are for my vendors, I'd like you to use this contact form for my, for my uh, members or my business listings, I'd like you to use that contact form. That's very revolutionary for a software. So the website visitors, the vendors, the members, they can all have a custom dashboard experience when they log in and the data that they enter can be completely different from the next because a general website user should not have to choose are they a business listing or an individual? What best describes them for their top level category? It's very confusing for them. So now it's gonna be easy to offer a customized experience for different types of people that interact with your platform. Awesome. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the ones that are, are getting released next week. And, and again, if you, if you want, you can, uh, you can definitely subscribe to our newest release uh, 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 book uh, section in the Solution Center. And every time there's a new post, you get emails. And what we're doing, the direction that we're going, right now we just launched the brand new site, so you don't see that, but the, the direction that we're going is that whenever there's a new update, you just have an install button that you can click on from the dashboard with a video that shows you how to do that. So I'll, um, I'll go ahead and see if I can show you an example right now. Give me one second. I okay, and, and also I have, I have another question for you. So actually here it is, uh, here it is right here. I'm gonna show you two seconds. So we're gonna go to membership features. This is one of my websites. That's why I'm able to show this one. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on any one of these uh, on any one of these features that are in here. We go to the search result layout. We're going to scroll to the bottom, and you're going to see click here to install support for the dynamic sidebar search widget. So we'll go ahead and click the installer. It says that it's installed, and now what we do is we click on learn more. It's going to take you to the video that we recorded and the documentation that explains how this new update works on your website, how you can edit it, how it works. So in the past, you had to ask us for updates. So the direction we're going is that you're able, now when we refresh this page and we go back to search results, you're going to see what it did is it installed 
a new section where I'm able to select the new type of search uh, module that I want in that specific sidebar. And then you can watch the video and read the documentation on that update after you've installed it. So that's the direction we're going and we, we post these new updates in our, in our forum so that customers such as yourself can stay on top of what's new and you can easily install it on yourself without even having to submit a ticket. Great, great. Okay, um, so I have one question for you. Uh, how does this affect the mobile site? Beautiful. <laughs> That's the whole the whole purpose. I didn't even cover that at the beginning. The whole purpose of a bootstrap website. The reason we went in that direction yeah. was twofold. One, we wanted to have a universal language that allows all of our customers to hire third party developers or to do the code themselves using a language mm -hmm. that is universal, such as bootstrap. The second right. thing, the reason of going into that direction is that as, as you'll see here live, depending on, since it's bootstrap, it's always going to adjust to the size of your screen. That is the whole purpose of, of it. It'll collapse the menu for you. If we go ahead and look at the features, depending on how much width we give it, it's going to change the layout. So your website has a pulse. And it's always going to distribute the information in the best way possible, depending on the layout that is uh, the display that's being offered. So if I'm on a, an iPhone or if I'm on a tablet or if I'm on a, a, a monitor, even if I'm collapsing my screen like I'm showing you, it's going to go ahead and, and give me a different experience. Now, one thing that's really exciting, and I'll show you, for your members, say, keep in mind that over 50% of the people that go on websites these days are on mobile devices. So right. now what's important is that the, the experience being logged in as a member is also responsive. If I want to manage my profile, here's a collapsible menu. If I want to add, in this case, again, this is one of my websites. If I want to add an English course, I can click add an English course. I'm on my tablet with this layout. And as you can see, it's super clean and it's super, it's, it's, it's very easy to use. So the member experience, the visitor experience, um, even yourself in the admin, we have an app that's free that you can download on your phones that allows you to manage your website through the admin portal and it's all responsive as well. So that was the primary reason for even going in this direction was to address the responsive issues and to have a universal code. Okay. Okay. And then, um, actually, I have, I really have two more questions and I'm going to let you go. All right. Um, can we, can we do pop-ups? There is a, so there's a free software that's called leadin.com and it's, uh, it's from HubSpot. It's, absolutely mm -hmm. incredible <laughs> and it's free okay. so i highly recommend you just they're going to give you a code that you embed in the head of your website it's going to look just like it does mm -hmm. here this is the pop-up right. you can have it be in the center okay. and the top left and the top right you have full control and it's it's amazing and all you do is with the code that they give you you're going to go to your design settings and then you're going to go to the custom head so that's the, the last tab over here that we're going to see Okay. And then you just paste that code that they're going to give you in the head of your website. And then it's going to automatically display with your website. No, no, nothing, no coding needed whatsoever. Okay, 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 I got you, I got you. And then the other question though that I have is, is it possible to, I mean, since it is bootstrap, is it possible to upload like an outside theme to the site? It's not possible to upload a theme to the site. That, because okay. there's so many moving parts with this particular uh, solution. Now, what mm -hmm. you're able to do is you're able to get a third-party bootstrap widget, right, a code for a custom page, okay. a landing page. Any third-party bootstrap code that you put in there, uh, it'll display aesthetically as it should. It's just oh, not okay. going to be an overriding, I click the button and the entire theme changed and the profile pages are different because those all rely on custom variables and PHP codes. So that's what's calling the different information to different places. But in terms of being able to copy and paste uh, third-party bootstrap code th for design purposes, right, like a landing page or a right, widget, right. you're able to just paste it in there and it will display We've had people uh, do third-party slideshows. They like the, a specific slideshow, and they call it in the custom homepage uh, section order. 
They paste the custom code mm -hmm. in the home page itself, and they call it through the widget. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I got you. All right. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. That, that, was, that was all the questions that I had. All right. Well, I, I appreciate your time. I'm happy I was able to answer your, your questions. Uh, I'm, I recorded this video, as I said, so I'll, uh, I'll send you guys a copy. Uh, once it's done recording, I'll at least send you guys a link uh, so you can watch it again. Uh, and then uh, let me know whether or not you'd like to proceed with, uh, with the upgrade to the, to the new bootstrap theme.